Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evo Rabbit. We're here on Vossen for episode 2 of Random Drifts Vossen Edition. So we're going to go first find out what track we're going to do in the fun track category. We have 25 pages and 10 per page. So we're going to hit this generate button a bunch of times. We're actually going to pull up the main screen so you can see the whole number. And we're going to page 15. So we're going to go to page 15. So we're going to quickly get myself to page 15 as fast as possible. All right, track 15, or page 15. Now we're going to go to number 10. Let's see what track number we're going to look at. Number 9. We're going all the way down. We're going all the way down. So that is track number 10. So track number 9 is Tandem Forest. I don't know if I actually have Tandem Forest. This is back from September of 2020 so that's the track we're going to be running is tandem forest so we're going to download tandem forest here so now we got to find out what car we're going to run we do have a, a boatload of cars now down here i believe there's almost a hundred cars so we're going to go in here we got about a hundred cars so we're going to do about a hundred we're going to hit random generate and see what number of car we're going to be doing clicking this a bunch of times car number 10 so it's a newer car so we're going to go to car number 10. So we either have a Lexus GS missile or Mercedes AMG hammer. So we're going to take a look at the missile. It's definitely a missile car. We got some rust on there. Big bodied Lexus. And then we got the AMG hammer, which that could be fun. But I think we're going to go with the big body missile car. So we're going to go with the big body GS300 missile. So we're going to get that downloaded. And we're going to be going to uh, Tandem Forest Park. So we download the GS. And we got to get these put into the game. So we're going to have to open up our set of Corsa. Via Content Manager, of course. Quick drag and drop in there. I'm going to drive both these in there. Close out Vossen. Tandem Forest. And the GS. So we're going to click on here. And we're going to put in 300. See if we can. All right. There we go. GS 300 missile. Oh, okay. I do like the different wheels and stuff like that. This one's got like different fronts. I think we're going to go with the traditional silver style. So we're going to take a look at, see what this car looks like off the rip. Sorry, copper brown. All right, I can get down. So it's it's a GS, big body drift car. I mean, it's something you would see if somebody had a big GS car. We're going to go into our normal showroom. And we're going to go to nice. So it looks like we got some, uh, some mess ups on the fender there and some some imperfections on the body because it's a missile car so i wonder how this car is gonna react what's up there is that a tech sticker that looks like a tech sticker and it does look like it's an automatic drift car so model maybe not the uh not the best but we'll see how she rips because that's all that really matters so we're gonna get our tandem forest pulled up And Tandem Forest, and we're going to load into the game, so I'll catch you guys once we're on grid, and we're going to head to this. So we are at Tandem Forest, and this car does have a, some different wheels than it did in the actual uh, model, so. And we're spitting a lot of flames out this thing, so we're going to go full send and see what we can do here at Tandem Forest. I'm going to adjust my seating position slightly. Oh, no, not that slightly. All right, so this is where we're at. So it does have a, a working display, so that's pretty sweet. I do like that. So, well, full send. It's factory stock settings that this car came with. First gear. And we're gonna see what happens. Little we'll handbrake in. Oh, does it have traction control? It did. Make sure it's off. Make sure track control's off. Oh, and the angle lock is not there. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's definitely a big body car that, like, somebody just brought out to a local drift event. Oh. Look 
about to kick me in a little handbrake drag. Oh, we're trying to drift in third, but it's fogging out. Kick it back in. Oh, that's a tight corner. I don't know if I have enough angle lock for that one. Third gear flick. I flicked that too early. Nope. Oh man, this car is definitely, you can feel the weight of this car. This is a big body car for sure. So they'll get used to the lack there of steering angle. Yeah, handbrake is not its friend. Definitely should not be handbrake in this car. Oh, if we could adjust the gears, it'd probably be way better. Let's kick that. So definitely can feel the weight of the car. It is kind of very fun and very different than what I'm used to driving, so. I could have that. I thought I could get that, but unfortunately, we looped that a little bit. But that's what we get when we do these random drift episodes. We get to try all these different cars. So I am on a 177, so I'm trying to figure out my smoke settings. So if you guys have some good smoke settings for 177, let me know down in the comments because these smoke settings are not the greatest as you can tell so I think I need to turn my gears on so we can see where we're at we're gonna turn the pedals pedals on gears on okay we're gonna go back to pits see if we can't make an alteration I think we can CD09 CD009 okay we're gonna go with that we're going to oh we have tire options too Scrubs, Iron Man's, Kenda, fucking Xena, 615s, that would be super grippy. So I think we're going to go with the uh, Streets, 225s, Trash Show Off, ABS Off, Turbo 100, bump that preload up a smidge. Alright, we're going to go full send like this. Different gear ratio, CD009. Probably drift the third gear now. It's the angle lock that keeps getting me. I'm used to cars with way more angle lock than this. This is good practice though for street style cars. Slowly getting it. All the clutch kicks. Oh, we lost it there. Oh, that was a definitely an off-camera turn. So, the course is definitely a very fun track. I really do like the track. We're going to need to bring one of our fast cars out here. With all of our steering angle and really try and throw this course for some aggressive laps but overall this GS you can definitely feel the weight of this car and it is a little bit of a handful so we're gonna switch up cars we're gonna go grab the pro cars and see what we can do in a fully tuned car so, okay. so when I said pro car I meant full blown out pro car my E36 ESDA car we're gonna go full send in this thing see what we can do on this track in the E36. Oh, definitely already different. Massive amounts of grip in this car compared to the other one. And 72 degrees worth of angle. It's 
is a pretty flowy track, not gonna lie. I can't believe I've never been on this track before. We get around this track way quicker in this car than we do the other one. Kind of set up on my bank setup. As you can see, the grip level is just it is very crazy with this. And the smoke, like I said, if you guys have a good smoke setting, let me know down in the comments. So overall impressions of the track, this track is a lot of fun, and you can get some solid tandems on this track. And that GS was definitely pretty fun. You could definitely feel the weight of the car, so that's one thing that takes a minute to get used to. But overall, definitely a fun episode. If you guys want to keep seeing these random adrift episodes, Boston style, let me know down in the comment section. That's going to be a wall. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.